Hi guys, yasas kekalos irtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to show you my take on that viral TikTok video. I think it's called the crinkle cake. It's so easy to make the way this girl makes it that um, it's pretty much the same thing that I do for most of my, my phyllo Greek pies. I crinkle the top, I make that beautiful accordion phyllo topping. Well, this girl decided to make uh, that topping as the base, like as the crust, and then she pours a custard on it and bakes it. Such a simple dessert, and you guys asked to see my take on it. It's not that much different, so I am going to link um, the girl who did the video, the original one, um, in the comment section down below, as well as on the blog post, to give credit where it's due, because I did not, this is not my idea from the beginning, you know? <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of a galakto burako take on it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be delicious, you guys already know. So let's get started. So I'm only using half a pack of phyllo. I'm making a smaller batch. If you want to use the whole phyllo, then you're going to need a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. But I am using a half sheet baking tray, which is 8 inches by about 12 inches or in centimeters. It is 21 centimeters by about 30 centimeters. You can make this in whatever pan you like. As long as the phyllo fits in there, you can use it. Um, the, the custard layer is thin. The, thin. the way that I made it a little bit different is I made a double batch of custard for half a batch of the, of the crinkle cake because I like custard in my desserts. So what I did was I just... First of all, I melted a stick of butter, which is four ounces, and then I started with uh, the phyllo. The phyllo was thawed out and at room temperature, and I did just the way the girl does on the TikTok video, two sheets at a time, and I just crinkled them up just like an accordion and put them on the baking tray. I first started with a 10 inch, and, I, and that was not gonna hold this. Then I went with my half sheet baking tray, filled the tray up, until all of the layers ran out. And then I baked it in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes, took it out, poured all of the butter on top and put it back in for another 10 minutes. And then in the meantime, I made the custard. The custard is so easy to make. So the original recipe uses the whole egg, but in all of my custard recipes, I like using just the yolks to keep it nice and rich and velvety and creamy. So that is what I did. I put three egg yolks in a little bowl, I actually use a little pitcher so it can make it easy to pour. I'm saving the whites for like meringues or something like that on the side for another day. Then I added one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of semolina flour just to give it the galacto burako hardiness. One cup of granulated sugar, started to mix it all up, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and two cups of whole milk whisked it all together and then once it comes out of the oven with the butter nice and toasted you're going to carefully pour all of that custard on top pop it back in the oven again at 350 degrees fahrenheit for about 30 35 minutes or until the custard bakes through and it sets Last thing that needed for this recipe is the syrup. Now, I have some leftover syrup because I'm filming another recipe for a roxakia, which you definitely have to check out if you haven't already. So I have about a cup of syrup left, but if you don't have any syrup in your fridge, then all you need is half a cup of granulated sugar, one cup of water. You could put some orange zest in there or orange rind. I already have some orange rind in here. You could throw a cinnamon stick in there, a few cardamom pods. There are so many ways to flavor it and you should use your favorite flavorings to flavor the syrup so it can be aromatic and just sweet and delicious. And just boil that for a few minutes until it thickens a little bit thicker than like a baklava syrup. And then once the crinkle cake custard pie comes out of the oven, you're gonna pour the syrup on top, sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon. You could also finely chop some roasted pistachios. Salted would be best. Salty and sweet go so good together. You can crush some walnuts, almonds, pecans, or just leave it plain with the cinnamon on top. Let it cool a little bit and let it cool to about 15, 20 minutes, room temperature basically. And then you cut it into squares and you serve it. What could be more delicious? I'm gonna make some coffee to have ready to serve the dessert and then I'll be right back as soon as it's all ready to show you what it looks like. All right, so the custard is ready and the house smells incredible. What's better than flaky, buttery phyllo baking in the oven and then the cinnamon when it hits the top? It just takes me back to my childhood. Do let it cool a little bit once it comes out and once the syrup is poured on top so it has a chance for everything to come together. Although the best way to serve this, in my opinion, is a little bit on the warmer side so that way the phyllo is still nice and crispy. So make this right before you serve it for your guests. It's just gonna taste best. Time for the taste test and it's just still be crispy on top. You hear that? 
Of course, the, the parts that have the custard on it, because I did double the amount of custard from the original recipe, are going to be a little bit softer, but I like it that way. Mm. So comforting. It's a combination, in my opinion, it tastes kind of like my ruffled milk pie, which I've already made in the past, almost just like it. But since there's more custard in it, and, and since there's that um, cornstarch and the semolina in it, and just the egg yolks, it's very smooth and creamy and thick and luxurious. Even better than the ruffled milk pie, if you ask me. So easy to put together. Just a few steps. You don't have to cook the custard, which makes it so easy. I hope you guys give it a try and let me know what you think. Let me know how you're making it in the comments as well. I love seeing your recreations, so share pictures with me on Instagram and on Facebook. If you want to learn how to make Greek coffee to serve alongside this, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us. Yes.